Once again, Kenya has put a ban on Uganda's milk and has refused to renew 80 permits for exporters to the neighboring country. Over 80 permits have not been granted by Kenya and which has led to the collapse of the price of milk in the country. This is a very serious matter. And I have requested that um, this matter be handled as quickly as possible uh, by Parliament of the Republic of Uganda, by um, the Minister of Agriculture, Trade and Industry. This problem has largely affected Brookside Limited, the producers and processors of fresh dairy products. For the last two months, we have not been able to do even a single return of export to Kenya. As a result of this, uh, given that we are in a peak season in terms of the production, the rains are there, there's a lot of milk out there in the farms, prices have collapsed. By March this year, the price of milk was 1,500 approximately. Two months after, and we are in May now, the price of milk has dropped to 550 per litre. Wangi says that if not urgently attended to, the milk will go bad in a month's time. I'm holding almost uh, 15 billion worth of powder. powder milk. Long life is expiring in the warehouse. I think uh, my friend will take you to the UST and we'll see powder. It's about to expire. And this milk has already market in Kenya. This ban goes against the East African Community Community Market Protocol that allows free movement of goods, services and labor. What therefore is the purpose of the East African community? This is the question we ask. And that's why we say that um, Uganda has got a comparative advantage in agriculture. 48% of East Africa's arable land is in Uganda, meaning that Uganda can produce for most of the region. Come end of this month, the go down gets full. I might now talk about job losses. Because I cannot continue buying meat and storing. So in terms of revenue, you're talking about on a daily half a billion daily. You're talking about the job losses. I have five, more than 500 employees. 98% of these employees are Ugandans. Brookside Limited is owned by the family of Uru Kenyatta, former president of Kenya. This is not the first time that Kenya blocks Ugandan products. A diplomatic row emerged after Kenya banned the importation of maize from Uganda, claiming it was contaminated with aflatoxins. Eggs and sugar have also suffered. Jingo Francis, NTV.